so bismillah rahman rahim assalamu alaikum so in this video uh, we'll perform the calculations of triaxial test that how we perform the calculations on the values obtained from triaxial test basically cu uh, triaxial test consolidated undrained test so this is your assignment these are the dial readings for trial one uh, dial readings simply proving ring reading cell pressure pore pressure readings this is trial two reading uh, and height of sample is 140 now area of sample will be 0 0.0038 meter square diameter of the sample proving ring constant uh, this means that 0 0.0041 kilonewton per division uh, that one division of proving ring will have to be multiplied with 0 0.0041 to get the value in kilonewton so this depends upon the uh, equipment it varies equipment to equipment it depends upon the calibration so this will be your uh, assignment you need to do what perform the calculations to prepare the remodeled sample complete the table of calculation perform calculation and so on so uh, i'll be solving one trial example that how we can basically do uh, the calculations of cv test so before going to the calculation phase just let me make you understand that we need to obtain two parameters sigma 1 prime or and sigma 3 prime minor and major principal stresses effective then what we do for two trials we obtain let's say this more circle and the another one is this for trial 2 this power circle will be obtained from trial 2 and this will be obtained from trial 1 then we'll draw a tangent uh, connecting these two points so sorry it's not drawn as it is so we'll draw like this and the c intercept uh, y intercept will be cohesion c and this angle will be or phi angle of internal friction so these two parameters we have to determine in this test from the observation value so these are the values now I'll be performing the calculation on one uh, trial so these are the exemplary values firstly I'll have to convert dial readings into the millimeters so I'll have to add what a new column just right click insert the entire new column over here now this column will be deformation deformation values in millimeter so but basically these values are i will have to multiply 0 0.01 into this dial rating the value will be converted in millimeter so I'll drag this thing so that all the values will be converted into millimeters so you can see here these values have been converted into millimeters uh, basically 2500 uh, dial reading is basically equal to 25 millimeter deformation so now uh, we have to convert the proving ring reading into the kilonewton value load so we'll add another column insert entire column like this now it's load and kilo newton and the formula will be is equals to 0 0.0041 0 0.0041 is the least count multiply by proving ring reader click click here okay now drag this one and you will obtain the proving read readings into the kilonewton value so these values now have been converted into kilonewton so the next step 
is to obtain the strain value so now we'll insert a column like this insert okay now here it will be strain as you know strain is basically change in length divided by original length so I will apply a formula is equals to deformation this is the deformation divided by 140 mm is the total height of the sample so just click here now drag this one and you will get the strain values so these are the strain values because the initial value is zero that is why when you apply the formula you don't get any change so don't be confused please in the next uh, we have to find out the deviatrix stress and now we will have to uh, determine the corrected area as now what is the concept of uh, concept of corrected area is that because the load is applied continuously then there will be change in cross-sectional area due to applied uh, load and there will be some strains so cross-sectional area will be will not be seen through so that is why we have to apply corrected area let's say this is the cross section of the sample this is sample sorry it will be like this so this is the uh, cross sectional area now after some strains the sample can be like this that there will be strains and it can be like this now you can see here there will be cross the cross sectional area here will be different and so on so that is why we have to apply the correction corrected area that corrected area is basically equal to a corrected is equals to a original a original divided by 1 minus strain so now i'll apply this formula here insert column entire new column okay corrected area area corrected so yes just enlarge it it will be in meter square corrected area so the formula is original area original area is 0 0.0038 divided by 1 minus strain so this value now click ok and this is the corrected area values now drag this to obtain the corrected areas so now this is the corrected area values now we'll have to determine the deviatrix stress insert column Entire column deviatrix stress that is kilonewton per meter square kilonewton per meter square now uh, this is basically load divided by this corrected area so we'll apply the formula this divided by corrected area okay now we'll obtain the deviatrix stress so yes now deviatrix stress has been determined now what we have to uh, determine is now here it is the cell pressure here is the pore pressure now we have to determine two things now sigma 3 prime and sigma 1 prime sigma 3 prime is the minor principal stress and sigma 1 is minor principal stress just to copy the symbol basically i will copy this symbol copy this symbol over here 
So now we'll have to find out the sigma 3 prime that is minor principal stress which is equals to cell pressure minus pore pressure. So this is how we'll obtain sigma 3 prime. Now drag this column to obtain sigma 3 prime forces. Now we'll have to obtain sigma 1 prime that is basically equals to sigma 3 prime plus deviatrix stress this one click and now drag this column section so this is how we'll obtain sigma 1 prime and sigma 3 prime now the next step is to find out sigma 3 prime and sigma 1 prime max values maximum values so maximum values represent the failure stage so now we are to find out the maximum value of sigma 3 prime just apply the formula of max double click now this is the column of sigma 3 prime just enter and we have obtained the sigma 3 prime max now this we have to find out sigma 1 prime max we will select this column we will enter and we have obtained the sigma 1 prime max value now the matrix stress maximum value maximum value represent the failure state so again max of this deviatrix stress we'll select this column then enter and we have obtained this value now we have to convert this kpa values into kg per centimeter square why because uh, we have to draw a mohor circle uh, in a software that is called Coster and Coster works in the units of kg per centimeter scale so that is why I have to convert this value into kg per centimeter scale to convert this value into kg per centimeter scale uh, we'll have to multiply 140 into 0 0.01 0 0.01 so it is 0 0.01 multiply this okay this is 1.4 similarly 0 0.01 multiply this and we'll obtain this value in kg per centimeter scale similarly 0 0.01 multiply this column and we'll get these values now these are the calculations for trial one no we have to perform the similar calculations for trial 2 let's say uh, i have performed the same calculation for trial 2 and the values uh, of the trial 2 are 3.98 for uh, maximum vertical stress sigma 1 prime for trial 2 and sigma 3 prime for trial 2 is 1.83 no no uh i'll go to the software caster I'll click this software and will open this one this software is basically used to used for the interpretation of geotechnical laboratory test results so here I'll click the lab test and then I'll go to shear strength and then we'll select Mohor circle then stress now I'll have to put these values as Sigma one for first trial is 3.14 if I'm not wrong 3.14 3.14 okay and the 1.4 is sigma 3 and sigma 1 prime for trial 2 is 3.98 3.98 and 1.83 is the value for trial 2 sigma 3 prime no other values are 0 because we have performed only two trials 0 just set these values as 0 no click 
okay then right click other data now you can provide the other information like borehole number depth etc uh, in the current case we'll uh, keep it as as it is okay right click plot so you can see the mohor circles for two trials have been plotted now you will have to draw a manual tangent accurate tangent i'll try to i will right click and select draw manual tangent okay now you will have to plot very carefully uh, i'll just let you know that how you have to draw a tangent uh, it basically requires uh, practice uh, we have to draw and erase many times to get an accurate tangent let me uh, let me tell you uh, that how a tangent is drawn i will try to draw a tangent. let's say this is this is the tangent no this is not the clear tangent anyhow you will draw a tangent like this that will pass through one point circle no negative cohesion i'll have to this is not the right tangent like this the tangent will be like this let's say so you can see uh, this is again not a right range tangent but we'll have to uh, do a practice for multiple times to get a uh, right tangent but the thing is you will obtain the uh, shear strength parameters that are phi is 16.49 in this case that is basically not accurate and the c values as well in kg per centimeter scale then you can convert these values into kpa so this is how uh, you can uh, perform the calculation of triaxial test cu consolidated undrained test to obtain the shear strength parameters so i hope you like the video and you have understood the 